Hi, this is the Football Freelance, and my name is Joshua Kasparic. In this series, I'd like to take on topics not related to my favorite team, which is the Seattle Seahawks, but may have a direct impact on my team down the road, or actually, you know, very closely. So this week, as, as the big topic, I want to confront Colin Kaepernick and his future. I can hear the groans from San Francisco fans now, but I hope that my opinions and my observations will be viewed as unbiased by the time we get to the end of this. Now we all know that Colin Kaepernick struggled last year. We all know that he came onto the scene the year before and had a dynamic year, giving the 49ers a lift offensively that they hadn't had under Alex Smith. So. Now that we've seen an up year and a down year, everybody's wondering, especially 49er fans, where Colin Kaepernick goes next to make the next step to become a better quarterback than he was at least last year. And I have an answer for you. But first, I wanted to talk a little bit about why Colin Kaepernick gets so much hype and why that ended up giving him a lot of money. You see, Colin Kaepernick has a unique skill set and a unique feature that no other quarterback currently in the league has. A lot of people think I'm talking about his ability to run, but that's not the case. Colin Kaepernick right now, hands down with no question, has the best arm in the NFL. Period throwing, you know, essentially the equivalent of a 98 mile an hour fastball, but instead it's a football. His release is long and his tools are a little bit complex, but because he is so unique in this sense, he is going to be drooled on by all the analysts, everybody who looks at that deep ball and says, Man, he doesn't even need to put air under it to get it 35 yards down the field the way some guys do. And all of the things that go along with that. And ending in Ron Jaworski's head up his ass sort of Colin Kaepernick will be the greatest quarterback of all time. With all that said... Everybody thinks, oh, it's complicated, you know, you'll never know if he'll turn that corner and become the next great quarterback. There's so much he has to do. Um, as, a, as a football fan in general, I don't think his problems are that hard to fix. I think the biggest thing right now that's hindering Colin Kaepernick from making the next step in his growth as a quarterback is his ego. And I know what a lot of you 49er fans would be thinking. Oh, you're a Seahawks fan. You're talking about his tattoos, his bicep kissing, his tumbler compared to Russell Wilson. No, could care less about whether that's true, whether, you know, it's his work ethic. I I could care less about that stuff because I don't think that's what's impacting him. I think what hurts Colin Kaepernick right now is his ego. On the field. What I mean by that is because he throws the ball so hard and so well, he thinks he can make every throw known to man, regardless of coverage, regardless of whether that's the appropriate throw to make or whether, you know, it's a good thing for the team at the time. So, let me explain. A good example of Colin Kaepernick's capabilities are the NFC Championship game and a good example of Colin Kaepernick's getting in his own way is the NFC Championship game. So, where we see his arm be dynamic and maybe get away with something other teams couldn't, or other quarterbacks couldn't, rather, is his 28-yard throw that beats Earl Thomas to Anquan Bolden for a touchdown. 
Now, if you watch that play, there's no way he should make that throw. But he does, and because Earl Thomas kind of freezes, I think, on the velocity of the throw, instead of actually striding back about a stride and a half, what should have been an interception turns into a touchdown. If any other quarterback makes that throw, it's intercepted all day long. No other quarterback can do that. No other quarterback can make that throw that way and get away with it. The problem is, you see him do the same thing with Cam Chancellor when he gets picked off. Now, I say that because in his post-game interview, he said, and I quote, I thought I could get it over the top of Cam Chancellor. Never mind that Chancellor is 6'3 and has a very long wingspan. He makes that throw. It's intercepted. And then comes back to the same throw on the final drive against Walter Thurmond in the same situation and makes the same throw and gets away with it. Gets about 11 yards out of it. So, so you have that going for you. Um, the problem is when he decides that he's going to make throws to beat guys or because he thinks he can get away with it, he's actually hindering the offense. And I think the biggest thing that has made him into a one-read quarterback isn't that he's incapable of making progressions because we've seen him go through progressions. He's gone through them really late, but eventually he gets to them. And I think what's causing him to be what's considered a one-read quarterback is because he won't pull off of that first read because he thinks, maybe if I wait a little longer, I'll get an opportunity to thread the needle with this arm of mine. And he'll go, if I can just wait a little longer, I can get this ball to my guy and... By the time he realizes maybe I've waited too long, it's too late to go through his progressions, or maybe he gets to his second read and now he's under pressure because he waited too long. So, I think that if he gets rid of the ego and treats himself as if he only throws 91 miles an hour, and treats himself as if he has regular quarterback skills, and goes in with that mentality that he should make the next steps much easier for himself because the alternative is that he continues to struggle or that he becomes Brett Favre and can't get out of his own way when it counts. A guy who will probably make a big play and then hurt you with a big play all in the same game. Um, so, that's kind of my take on it. Um, I want to know if uh, people think I'm spot on here or if I'm just talking out of my ass. Um, so, leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you like this uh, content. And uh, I'll see you next time.